Harriet, I can't believe this is happening to her again. Why does she keep falling for the wrong guys? Well, last time was because of me. I convinced her that Senator Elton was a good choice. But this time, I had nothing to do with it. Harriet fell for Frank all on her own. I didn't even mention his name. I am Emma Woodhouse. And once again, I have to break Harriet's heart. Emma, you wanted to see me? Did you need help with the invoices? No, no. Maddie did a great job explaining things. I kind of miss having her at the office. Things have gotten a lot quieter now that she's gone back to working from home. Emma, what's wrong? Do you want some tea? Or maybe some of that leftover ice cream? Uh oh, are you okay? I thought you were feeling better. No, I'm fine. I do. I have some bad news. Frank and Jane are... Well, actually, Frank and Jane were... Oh, Harriet, Frank and Jane were a couple. A couple of what? They were dating. Really? When? The entire time she was working here. I am so sorry. Oh, it's okay. I'm just glad I'm not the only one that didn't know what was going on. How did you find out? Annie told me. But wait, you said they were a couple? Apparently they broke up. So why didn't they just keep it a secret? Something about Frank selling his shares of Richmond and the tabloids digging into his personal life. He didn't want us to find out by reading it in the press. Well, I hope Jane is okay. That is so nice of you, Harriet. But are you okay? I'm fine. You are taking this awfully well. Well, I mean, I'm a little surprised. They seem so different. And I do wish Jane had been comfortable confiding in me, but she's a really private person, so I understand. And that's it? Um, is there something else I should be upset about? Well, if I found out the person I was in love with was seeing someone else Wait, the entire Wait, you think time... I'm in love with Frank Churchill? Of course, who else? Harriet? Uh, Mr. Churchill is nice and funny, but... And he rescued you when your car broke down. Yes, and I was grateful, but, but as you said, there's a big difference between gratitude and love. Of course there is, but I thought you two got along so well. We do. As friends, Mr. Churchill is such a big personality, I could never keep up with him. Of course you could, Harriet. He would be lucky to have you. Anyone would. <sighs> I'm glad that you feel that way, but truthfully, I need to be with someone less intimidating. <laughs> I learned that with Senator Elton. Did you really think I'd make the same mistake twice? So, then who are you talking about? You really don't know. When you told me you were interested in someone, you said he was smart, successful, charming. Handsome, funny, and kind. And that he saved you from a horrible situation. Yes. The Elton's engagement party. Alex! You're in love with Alex. Well, I guess Jane Fairfax and Frank Churchill aren't the only ones keeping secrets. I didn't mean to keep it a secret. You did tell me not to say his name, right? Yes, I did. And are the feelings mutual? Well, he hasn't said so directly, but yes, I, th I think they are. <laughs> oh, Emma, when I went to the engagement party with Alex, I started to see him in a whole new light. And then we began working together more closely and I got to know him better. And it was so nice of him to offer a carpool with me. Yes, Alex is very considerate. He is. One night when I mentioned that I hadn't had time to eat lunch, he stopped at the drive-thru and got me a salad. A salad? <laughs> yes. And of course, I still get butterflies every time I'm around him. And I was so embarrassed when I spilled dressing all over myself in the car, but he didn't even get mad. Takes a lot to rile him up. That's one of the things I like about him. He's so steady, but also ambitious. Uh, and you've always encouraged me to never settle. Yes, that's true. Um, but do you think you might be confusing Alex being interested in you romantically with his general niceness to everyone? Right. Because someone like Alex could never really be interested in someone like me. No, 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 no. That's, that's not what I meant. Look, Alex Knightley is the last guy in the world who would intentionally lead a girl on when he didn't really have feelings for her, right? I thought so too. So when he asked me if I was seeing anyone right now, I took that as a sure sign he was interested. He asked you that? 
I think Alex and I could have something really special. And I've grown a lot thanks to you. I think I'm ready for a serious relationship. Emma, I know two romance surprises in one week is a lot, but I hope you'll be able to be happy for us if it works out. Harriet and Alex? No, 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 mm -mm, no way, mm -mm, not possible. Maybe it is possible. He said it right from the beginning that she's adorable and sweet and a really good person, <laughs> even after listening to me. But Alex can't be with anyone. I can't imagine him with anyone ever. I mean, anyone other than 